What the f was that? This camera is extremely sensitive to spirits and anything that gets in front of it. Hello? Somebody said hello. What's up everybody? My name is CJ Faison. First and foremost, I'm getting ate up by mosquitoes, but uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button. Also drop a video, a like on the like video. Like what am I talking about? Drop a like on this video if, if you're really digging this style content. Um, so tonight I am here with Holly and Eric and also my editor Dylan, who's gonna be taking pictures. Um, we've actually been getting a little bit of success by taking pictures at haunted locations. We started that about four or five videos ago. It seems to be working pretty cool. We've actually caught some really neat things um, still camera wise. So hopefully we can continue that tonight. And um, the main thing that I want to tell you is I am on a haunted road, bridge, and wooded area. So this is kind of like a three in one video. If you like the bridges, you like the roads, you like the woods, this video is for you for sure. So. Um, I am at a bridge that's called Big Liz Bridge. Now, this is actually a spot where treasure was buried, and it's still buried somewhere out here. There's people who have been out here exploring this for years. They've never found the treasure, but it is still out here, which is so crazy. But um, the story that I know and understand, I've been briefed on it just very briefly with Holly and Eric, is that there was a, a man and a woman that came out here to, I think he like, coaxed her into like coming out here to help him bury this treasure so that way they could come back to it for some reason I don't know but um it is said that um, she was killed out here her body was buried um, that was weird <laughs> her body was buried out here and um, also the treasure as well they were buried in two separate spots so um, her name was Liz she was extremely tall and she is seen on this bridge walking and she's also hey what are we what are we supposed to do with our our trucks again uh you park on the bridge right in the middle okay your horn three times flash your lights twice and she's supposed to appear with her head under her arm okay so um she was decapitated apparently but uh, like you just heard pull up on the bridge flash your light three times honk your horn twice and she's supposed to appear or did i get that right yeah all right flash for three times honk twice so that's what we're gonna do tonight, along with exploring the wooded area, also the road, and this bridge. A lot of this is haunted, a lot of it's spooky. Get your popcorn and Velveeta ready. Let's get going. Hey, pause this video real quick. I just wanna give some shout outs to people who have bought merch on shopmotivated.com. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting the brand. It's absolutely unreal. It's 4 a.m. right now. I just got done filming this video that you just watched. I wanna give some quick shout outs to everyone who just purchased merch yesterday. And by the way, if you can see, I sign every single one of the boxes. Any of the orders that contain either the hats or sunglasses, I sign the box that it comes in for you. So that's kind of cool too. All right, first shout out goes to Lori from Pennsylvania. Raymond from Washington. Sullivan from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Marcus from Michigan. Dwayne from Indiana. Mr. Fleming from Great Britain. Samuel from Minnesota. Melinda from Colorado. Amber from California. Kira from Australia. Terry Ann from Hawaii. Hang 10. Christina from Pennsylvania. Brenda from New Mexico. Crystal from Tennessee. Christine from North Carolina. Donald from Vancouver, Washington. Lupita from Arizona. I think I said that right. Oscar from California. Mary from Great Britain. Jenna from New York. Veronica from Connecticut. Shannon from Texas. Karen from Wisconsin. Samantha from Idaho. And last but not least, shout out to Wendy from Portland, Oregon. So, folks, if you are not what Motivated Eyewear is, real quick, we got hats, sunglasses, t-shirts, whatever you want, we have it. I package all of the orders in here. You can see that on my vlog channel. The link is in the description. I show you my whole life, my whole background. So, again, kind of a promo for shopmotivated.com. Use my promo code, CJFacing at checkout. Wink, wink. That's actually what provides me gas money. I call it gas money to go on these trips to give you all these awesome videos and this cool content. So, without any further ado, thank you all so much. Back to the video. Okay, so um, I'm going to actually put up a picture that I took right here a little earlier. It was absolutely amazing right before 
Um, we came here kind of just to scope out the bridge, but what happened was we realized, okay, it's not completely dark. So we all went, we all grabbed dinner. We came back here. It's obviously a lot later in the night. And uh, we, we kind of made a decision. Holly and Eric are going to take the bridge first. They're going to explore that and uh, do an investigation. Yeah. Would y'all just see something? Mm. What? I did when you turn your light around. Okay, that was weird. All right, so you all are going to do the bridge. We're going to kind of go down here towards the woods. And um, yeah. I, I don't know about you all, but I'm going to do a necrophonic yeah, I'm thinking about session that. for sure down here. Yeah. And, um, these bugs are killer tonight. Yes. <laughs> um, hey, just like you all probably saw in the beginning of the promo, I'm actually wearing one of those hats. It's the, uh, motivated hat. I call it the motivated patch hat. Um, I worked really hard on designing this hat. So, um, if y'all don't mind, link's in the description, like I said. And, uh, of course, I signed the boxes for all the sunglasses and hat orders, so. All right. So, um, my editor, Dylan, he is going to be walking with me. Alright, what the hell is going on? That's the second gunshot we've heard. I don't know. That's a, that's a big You're not kidding, that's a cannon. My camera will not focus right now. Well, Stand right there. Like that. Hey Holly, can you, never mind. Now my camera's good. Okay. That was weird. <coughs> Alrighty then. Alright, let's try this again. So my editor Dylan is going to be taking pictures like I just said. And um, the reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of still photography catches um, the flash will catch a, 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 a figure of some sort. So that's why I really want to bring him along, especially on this road where so many people swear by it. I, I was literally about to say the same thing. But it's like in the swamp area. Yeah, exactly. Hello? So we're hearing like some rumbling in the swamp, but there's really no way to get in there. Huh? Oh, I think it's them. Is it? There that rumble is again. So for everyone watching, comment below right now and just type in yes, I hear the rumble. If you all can hear it. Hello? So, as soon as we got here, it was warm, like I said, we took, that owl is really messing with me. We took a few pictures um, that you saw, and then we decided to go grab something to eat. When we came back, the temperature was, had to have been 15 degrees less. I mean, obviously the sun goes down in the summertime, it gets a little cooler. But uh, this is drastically colder.
If there's any spirits out here with us tonight, I just want... Oh! If there's any spirits out here with us tonight, I just want to make myself known. My name is Dylan. I've got my cameraman and editor, Dylan, with me. Did you just say your name is Dylan? Did I really? I think so. All right, I'm sorry. Let me. Hey, there's something in the middle of the road. Shine your light down here. There's something in the middle of the road. See it? The hell was that? Yeah, I saw that. <clears throat> if there's any spirits present with us right now, my name is CJ. I'm here with my cameraman and editor, Dylan. We do not mean any harm. You're not allowed to attach yourself to any of me, my equipment, my friends. Our vehicles, nothing. We mean nothing but absolute respect on this investigation. And we are here simply to get answers, nothing more. Oh, I think I found a spider. Yeah, look, he's a spider. Oh man, that's a big mother hunker. I don't know how, but I can see a spider from like a ridiculous long ways away. And that some bitch is big. Oh. <laughs> Touch it. Wait, what is that? Make sure he's still there. Make sure he ain't gonna crawl up our damn legs. I pee. I would literally pee myself for that and crawl out my legs. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna break out my spirit box right now, and I and I just want you to communicate with me, if you don't mind. Again, I don't mean any disrespect. I don't mean any harm. Just simply here to get answers, and and obviously if there is a treasure out here. I'm not going to ask where that is because it's a. Alright. That's the third gunshot, and that's like close, dude. I'm going to start my spirit box session now. Is there anyone here with us right now? It just shushed me. Hey Dylan, your light is casting a shadow. Can you turn it off for a few? Is the spirit of Big Liz here? It's a die. Is the spirit of Big Liz here? Yes or no? It said CJ. Is it, does Big Liz still haunt this area? Right. Yes, and then no. Big Liz, will you, will you please, will you please communicate with me? Big Liz, will you please communicate with me?
That was weird, dude. I'm gonna stop this spirit box session for just a few minutes, okay? And I want I want you to communicate with me, okay? I want you to uh I want you to make a sign, make a noise of some sort, okay? My name's CJ. I'm gonna leave my camera right there for just a few seconds, alright? Again, if you're on this end of the road, I just want to welcome you. I want to welcome myself, my friend Dylan. We mean no harm whatsoever. And I just want you to understand one thing. Hey Dylan, yeah. start recording. Start recording. What is that? No idea. What what is that? Okay, so I'm not really sure what exactly happened. Um, my camera cut off, and there's probably like two or three minutes that y'all missed. But um, we actually, it, it, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it, it might have been just the way we shined the light down the road. But to me, it almost looked like there was a white shadow figure that went across the road. And I'm thinking it's just... I'm thinking it's just my mind playing tricks on me, maybe. Um, but it, it was just like a, a very weird white mist that went across the road. So I don't know. But what I'm going to do now, I've probably done 20 times and it's worked probably one time. But um, there's some spirits that just don't like equipment. They don't like your camera. They don't like um, uh, uh, a PMB box. Uh, they don't. They don't like the spirit box. Any of that. So I'm going to leave my camera running. Obviously, uh, Dylan. Um, stand up probably another six feet with your light that'll help that'll help me out a little bit yeah that's perfect right there um, so I'm gonna walk up there I'm gonna try and be as loud as I can so that way you can pick up um, what exactly I'm saying but um, I'm just gonna kind of present myself with, with with no equipment and, and see if I can get anything to to uh, happen here as far as maybe a, a noise of some sort or uh, maybe effective communication. So but we're I'm gonna try this out. This is no guarantee, but it's it's worked once before, so maybe it'll work again. I have no idea. Again, I'm gonna say this: if there's any spirits present, my name is TJ. I'm here with my friend Dylan, also Holly and Eric, which are probably about a half a mile down the road back that way. We mean no harm whatsoever. If there are any spirits out here. I want you to communicate with me. I'm, I'm not here for any disrespect. Let me reiterate that. You can make a noise. You can make motion. That is completely up to you. But if you want to prove to us that you are out here, make a notion of some sort. I'm going to do something that I'm not comfortable with because you might not be comfortable with me here. And that's me walking with no flashlight down this road. A little ways off into the distance. I'm going to start now. If there's any spirits out here, I want you to please make a noise of some sort. Again, I'm uncomfortable doing this. again for me. Oh, 
almost like it's going through the woods. That's good. That's good that you're making a noise now. Listen, again, we're not here to, to cause any disrespect. We just simply, we, we're here to investigate. We don't mean any harm whatsoever. I'm, I'm not going to lie, like when I was facing that way and just walking down the road, I, I felt so uncomfortable, dude. You know what I wonder, though? So, something interesting. I wonder, like, the, the shadow figure that I saw, I, I wonder if it, well, I don't know. I wonder if the shadow figure that I thought I saw was maybe the light, and maybe it was because of the tree. What, what the f*** is that? Bro, what the hell was that? Shine your light down here, shine your light down here. Let me see your light, let me see your light. Hello? Stay right here. I, I thought something was gonna hit us. Yeah, I don't even, like, it sounded like something was like literally rushing towards us. I got chills on my legs and chills on my arms right now, dude. How do you explain that one? That's getting closer. I don't know if you explain that one. I don't even know what we what it could have been. And, and I almost feel like it sounds like a dirt bike, but it stops way too... I don't know. I don't know why you'd be riding a dirt bike this damn late at night anyway. Okay, let's um, let's start making our way back down towards Holly and Eric. So, we got a few things down there. Obviously, a couple of rumbles, and then um, probably one of the strangest things I've ever had happen to me was... What you... Was that Holly? I don't know. I think so. Hey, where'd that little creepy ass fighter go? Please tell me he's gone. I don't know. I can't see him like right you. I, I really don't know how I see spiders that well. It's probably terrifying. I might be Spider-Man. Who knows? Um, so, just back there, that was brutally weird. Um, I almost felt like somebody was standing there, like the further I got down that road. And then when I came back, it felt like, it, it felt like just a presence. And then all of a sudden, you just hear something like rushing towards us and and there, there, there's literally nothing down there i mean there's not a single thing down there that you could even explain how i, I don't even know dude I, I really don't that was really freaking strange my camera's going blurry again i do apologize about my camera going blurry but this camera is extremely sensitive to spirits and anything that gets in front of it so uh just so everyone knows While we walk up here to the bridge, I am going to tell you um, a couple of different things. When it comes to um, doing a paranormal investigation, you, you, there's so many different things that can go wrong. But there's a lot of things that you can do right. And I felt like um, I, I've done that several times before where you put down all your equipment, <clears throat> have it rolling in the distance clearly, but nothing on you. And um, step outside your comfort zone there, for even if it's just for a little bit like I did. You don't have to walk a country mile down the road 
Um, you can walk two, three hundred feet away because if, I mean, I truly feel uncomfortable when I don't have my camera. And uh, my guard is clearly, what? What? All right, so it sounds like they got something going on down here at the bridge. But uh, again, you're, you're kind of uh, you're kind of making yourself uh, to them. You, you're making them aware that hey, listen, I'm scared, and you're probably a little bit scared that I'm here. You're probably questioning why why am I here? And you know, there's some spirits are not evil. Not all spirits are evil. Not all spirits are good either. But not all of them are evil. So you sometimes get a really nice spirit that just simply wants to communicate or maybe he's just scared to communicate. That's where you have to, you have to feel out each situation. I know a lot of you go ghost hunting. Um, so that's, that's my best piece of advice to you. Okay. <laughs> down that road is sketchy. I set the camera down because we weren't really getting much on uh, the spirit box on the Necrophonic app. So I decided, I'm like, all right, cool. Here's what I'm going to do. This is exactly what I did too. I put my camera down. I had Dylan standing over here. And um, so basically, I, I left the camera running because it's, it's only happened one time before where this actually worked out. But like I was telling them, not all spirits are bad. All right. They're not all evil. All right. Not all of them are good. All right. There's some of them that are honestly scared that we're here mm -hmm. because this is their territory. This is where they feel comfortable. So I put my equipment down. I started to walk maybe 100, 200 feet away, maybe 300 feet away from the camera with nothing. No light, no anything, just trying to communicate. Heard a little bit in the woods, off to my left when I was walking. I'm like, all right, that's cool, getting a little bit of communication. I told them that, listen, you can do whatever you want as far as communication-wise, make a noise, make yourself present, whatever it is. So as soon as I start walking back towards Dylan, <clears throat> I keep hearing a noise off to my right, which is technically the left still. And it sounded like something like almost was up in a tree and then jumped down to the ground, like charged at the ground. And then, if that wasn't weird enough, I, I felt like something was with me the whole time I was walking away. And then when I was walking back towards the camera, I really felt uncomfortable. Felt like something was there. I just didn't, yeah. didn't really know yet. That was not a big fish. Not what we were hearing. Nah, yeah, that's no, weird. we were hearing some major spot. Like somebody literally jumped one. off the bridge. Yeah, it sounded like somebody just dove off the bridge. That's weird. I heard gunshots, more gunshots. I don't know if y'all could hear them. Yeah. Right, but I've heard several more gunshots. <coughs> so I walk back up, I get to Dylan, and as soon as I get there, it, it, I, I, this was the most unexplainable <laughs> event I've ever had. It sounded like something charged at us, and you could hear, like, like almost, to me, almost, I don't know if it was like horse hooves, but it was like, and then it like, boom, stopped like right at us. I'm telling you, I, get, I have the weirdest feeling right now. Mm. I have the craziest cold chill. And that, to me, is That's pretty cool. unexplainable. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I'm serious. You go down that way, you're going to feel like the woods are closing in on you, and you're just going to feel like something's with you. Yeah. What, what did you all experience here? Did anything happen or no? It, it was a little off down there. We got up. And we got up to the other end, and it was like really, really quiet. They're How getting get louder. Closer? That's what I'm saying. It's getting closer wherever it's at. Because when the first one that we heard it was way out there. That, that was way off in the distance. I kept hearing the rumbling. Yes. Here. Yep. And, the, and that and rumbling. It moves. Yeah, yeah. That rumbling, it almost sounded like it was following us down the road. At one point, it sounded like it was out. There it is again. That, yep. Out that way. Um, when we came back and started to do the necrophonics, there were some things that came through. I couldn't quite make them out right here. So, um, they did tell me that Liz was not with us right now. Maybe, maybe I she was with us down there. Had, yeah, very, very well could be. She could be out in the swamp. I don't know why. I, it that was weird. And uh, I don't know why, but I just felt like somebody just touched my face. What? Was it a bug? No, it was like a like a somebody's palm. That's why I was like. Did you make friends with Liz? I, I have no idea. I might. Ha I, I really have no idea. I mean, I wasn't getting much on the spirit box. That's why I did what I did. 
Well, she doesn't. Have, you know, I just thought of something. If she doesn't have a head. How's she gonna talk to us? That's actually a really valid point. But there was also Indians around this area. They lived along this river. Oh no, you kidding, right? No. <laughs> Big area for it. Come on, CJ. <laughs> You're gonna find that everywhere. I don't know where at along the river. I just know along the Transplacian River. <laughs> all right. Um, but I, I, all I'm saying is like anytime I start thinking about Native American stuff, all I revert back to is Lake Shawnee. Worst experience of my entire life. Goes just, hunting. Just relax. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm too relaxed. But damn. Yeah, that that was a kind of a rough night. For oh you. my gosh, that was the worst it night was, ever. It was pretty creepy with us later. But. Have you all dropped that video yet? No, I'm still trying to put it together. I got so much different footage and pictures and everything. I'm, That's I can't rough. Figure out how to put it together. Um. Most of you all won't know about this, but I uh, went to Lake Shawnee with uh, uh, the whole crew here, and um, the worst night of my life, ghost yeah. hunting, 110%. Yeah, that was the most terrifying everything. I haven't put that video together yet with Dylan, but um, yeah, we're not even going to speak of that night. But So I think, um, so did you get much on the necrophonic here? There was a lot that came through it. It's like, they'd all talk at once and then nothing. nothing. Yeah, I, it was a lot of jumble down there. Like it was just like jumbled words I together. I heard a few words, like I said. I I, I call it like a yes, a no, a die, um, but I couldn't get like precise answers. Like Big Lizard, you here with us right now? Right. Um, we got that she wasn't with us right now. I asked if we had to do the ritual first. That's true. It's a good point. And I'm not sh 100 percent sure, but I thought I heard a yes. But hmm. We'll check things out, and then we'll try to leave ritual. Let her get comfortable with us. Yeah. This might be what it takes. Might be what it takes, you know? Yeah. The, the only one she may be attracted to is Holly, because we're males, and... That is true. That is very true. Because her what is owner... That? I just saw something. Just saw a shadow. Right in the middle of the road. There's that rumble. Alright. There it is again. Yeah. I, I just don't... Now the bang we kind of have it a almost idea. sounds like a... Dynamite blast at a quarry. <laughs> yeah, but no yeah, I about to say there's no quarries around here. Not that I know of, at least. Yeah. And my my camera stopped recording twice now. Okay. What the heck, man? I don't get why my cameras do this. It's like every like weird haunted situation. Like I don't even know when it just stopped recording. But anyway, all right. So going down here, this is the um. This wooden part, the wooden railing part, this is actually the main part of the bridge here. And I think what I want to do, I want to kind of walk a little bit down this way just to see. Yo, that's close. Okay, so um, Dylan and I are going to continue walking on down this way. Big Liz, if you're here with us right now, I just want, I, I want to let you know that we mean no harm whatsoever. We, we are here simply to investigate and, and get some answers. And if you don't want to answer us, we are not going to force you to do so. We are simply just here to try to put more of the story together. This is one of the most well-known stories around this area. And we, we, we're just interested. That's all. I'm here with my friend Dylan, Holly, and Eric. All right, these fish jumping in the water is really getting my attention. That smells bad. Mm-hmm. That's some swamp land for you there, folks. Mm-hmm. Okay. What the f*** is that? Oh, jeez, man. I don't know why. 
I think it's my fear of snakes. But that shoe looked like a snake. I don't know why. Mm. All right, cool. All right, so let's do a necrophonic um, spirit box session right here, Dylan, all right? Big Liz, I'm, I'm gonna break out my spirit box here again and, and I want you to communicate with me if you don't mind. I, I really, really, really want to talk with you. Um, again, we mean no disrespect or harm towards you. And if there's any other spirits here, we, we want to invite you to communicate as well. What is that? Alright, so there's booms going off over here. Almost what seems to be a car coming down this road. So I don't know if there's such thing as phantom cars on this road. Could be, but it, I mean it literally sounds like it's coming right down the road at us. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start this spirit box session now. Are there any spirits present right now around us? Is there any of them that want to communicate? It said, it said boy. It said boy twice. Did something happen to a boy on this bridge? That's two yes. Liz. Dude! Okay. Tell me. Tell me more about Liz. <clears throat> How old was Liz? How old was Liz? Eight? Leave. Gone. Boy, police. Men. Okay. What what are you trying to tell me? It's a freaking hook. How, how tall was Liz? Seven. That was, that was two sevens. So seven foot tall maybe? Is Liz here with us right now? Is Liz watching us? Wow, that was weird. Hit, hit stare. Is Liz staring at us? girl is Liz staring at me right now it literally feels like someone's behind me Liz are you here is there anyone here that knows Liz what exactly happened? Was she killed here? Yes or no? There's another gunshot. Dead. It said dead. So you're telling me that Liz died here? Alright, there's a car coming. Bro, that's close. Come on. Come on, bro, that's close. That's close. Bro, what the f is going on right now?
Why does it sound like there's a car and then there's no car? Dude, what is going on right now? There's a car. Hey, that shot was really close though. I mean, way too close for comfort that time. How close is the car? They just said where to go. The car just disappeared. What? Hey. The car just turned around drastically and you're like, that's like, that's what you hear, you hear him speeding off. Hey, you think they saw something? Hey, listen, hey, what if they saw something? Because I'm telling you guys, I heard something down there. Here, let me, hang on, I'm coming to you. Trail? Hey, real quick though, I mean, I'm, I'm putting this out there because... If you're traveling down a road this late at night, right? You're on this road for a reason. Okay? Why exactly would someone turn around like that? I don't know. That was Unless they saw something, why would you turn around? How far down did they turn around? They turned around right... Like, were they close to you? No, they were way down there. Alright, you see where the tree line ends? On the left-hand side. Yep. That's how far I went. It was a little bit farther than that. Yeah, they were like... Going down, see where the road starts to curve? Around. Yeah. That's yeah. where they turned around. I'm telling you, like, if I saw something that creeped me out or something, like somebody standing in the middle of the road, I, 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 you're going to turn around. You know what I mean? Like, that just, to me, that's what that means. Yeah. Yeah, Why else would you turn around on a road like this? Of all roads. Right. Not in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, exactly. But then again, you see people with lights. That's true. That might deter me as well, yeah. That would deter me more than seeing something standing in the middle of the road. I'm just saying, from what I heard down there in that area, I think it's plausible that that could pos it could be a possibility. I'm not saying that's why they did, but yeah. But we actually, it was really weird. I don't did did is there like a legend about phantom cars on this road? I haven't heard any. All right, well, but I've been hearing them. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. We're down there, right? Doing a spirit box session right before I started. It sounded like a car, like couldn't have been more than a football field away. Yeah. Like coming down the road and and then it like dissipates into nothing. Yeah. I heard it. Now to, to let me let me explain to you all this road. You go this way and that way, clearly. But there's no road going across this road or anything like there's no crossroads or intersections or anything. Like this road runs for a really long time. It took forever to get to this spot first off, but to me. I don't know. I, I got a little worked up. And that gunshot, y'all, that was close. It sounded like it was getting closer. Yeah. We were hearing something. I could have sworn an animal was getting ready to come out of there. Really? Yeah. It sounded like something like was following. like shy per se, after Deep Marsh Road. But yeah, yeah. It like something was following us down. And every time I stopped. Dude, that's what we heard. <clears throat> it, something followed us all the way down. And when I went all the way to the end down there, and I started walking back this way, it it was moving with me. That's what this sounded like, it was moving with us. That's what I'm saying, I, and that's some thick stuff. I mean, you're not... Well, that's all... But you don't see there. it moving, you think yeah. you would see it... That's true. But it sounds like somebody or something was in there just pushing its way through it. <laughs> no, I was trying to figure out maybe a way, but it's all... That's all marshland. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, it's nothing but water. Yeah. Water and mush. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, where's that sign from? I know the other one said restricted shooting something. That's the same thing. Yep. Restricted shooting area. So that's hunting ground. So right? why are you firing firing rounds off? You know what I mean? I don't know where it, yeah, that to me was bizarre. What is that? What is something? What in the fall is like Go away. Oh, what is that? There's something painting on the painting on the tree Oh, that's just a marker. Oh, I couldn't see it though. Ooh. Guys, that that's like that's, that's right us. through. A... That one sounded like it was all the way around us. That tells me cross-talking. All right, so I'm just trying to put this out here. We're hearing gunshots, right? Yeah. Okay. We're experiencing weird things. Is it human? Is it paranormal? Right now, I don't think anybody has any idea. Again, I'm, I'm just still stuck on the idea of why in the world did a car turn around? Turn around at the like this and is took not, off. If it would have drove off, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, like oh, it might have been like some or... teenager or something coming back from her boyfriend's house got freaked out by what she saw in the middle of the road and turned around like. I mean, I can say I probably only turned around in the middle of a road two or three times because of something like weird. Um, but that was like when Normally I first I got my license. Up, I want to see what it is. Nowadays, yeah, but back in the day when I had first had my license, I wasn't yeah. going towards anything in the road. <laughs> <laughs> Not happening. I'm just, I, I don't know. I, that doesn't settle well that, with me. Yeah, that makes me uncomfortable too. Weird. What is that? Is that a murder hornet? <laughs> I don't know. It took off too fast. It's big, whatever it is. Did you see your alligator up there? No, uh uh. There was no, a log go out in the water that looked like. Oh man, me and my alligators. Uh. What? Shine your light. What'd you say? I don't know what, what exactly I saw. You know like when you blink and all of a sudden like you think you see something? It, it almost just stand like looked like somebody standing in the road. It wasn't even that far down either. Yeah, I know. That's Before we started walking down here, I saw that. I don't know it. Well, we're not going that way. This is my tough path. Yeah. We'll respect that well, sign. Who's going to walk in that? <laughs> well, you could be halfway crazy to walk through that marsh right there. I don't know why I just did that. That's weird.
I feel like things are going after my equipment more than ever. I'm starting to notice that. <laughs> like every adventure that we all go on, it's like they something is, is going to, towards my cameras and lights. Well, look, our battery was charged and um, yeah. put it in and it didn't want to work. Forgot about that. Yeah, as soon as we first got here, their, uh, their battery Everything's was, no was dead. I mean, we all haven't filmed in probably, what, a week now or so? And, I mean, obviously we all charge our stuff up, but... Oh, it, it charged all day today. Alright, I'm back recording now. That's weird, man. You know what I mean? That was like a... I'm down to one bar. Are you really? Yeah. Yeah, they're everywhere. Listen. A car. That's what it sounds like. Oh, listen. Listen, guys, 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 listen. Stop walking for a second. Sounds like something walking down the road. Yeah. And it sounds like it's walking away. Did we go too far? Hello? Someone just said hello in the woods. Hello? Over here? Yeah, it's right off. Look how where I'm pointing. Like right off in there. Hello? Who's out there? How are you out there? I don't know, but that was sure as hell clear voice. Come on out. I'm telling you all, it sounded like someone walking away from us, like on this bend here. It does. Feels weird, don't it? Yeah. Like it feels like something's about to happen, but I don't like. Yeah. Who is out here with us? I got Liz on my spirit box. You did. Yes. Clear. Must be getting close to the time to do it. Who said hello to CJ in the woods? Her? Her who? Me. Something said me? Yeah. Me who? Can you tell me your name? No. I, I didn't even hear that. That's what it sounded like. Did you say Liz? She's not breathing. Who's thing not breathing? Me? What's your name? Someone's talking down there. Yeah. Dead? 
Who said? <coughs> no, I'm not. That was aggressive. Leave. Leave. That sounds like a kid. What do you have against me? I'm here out of respect. I just want to talk to you a little bit and get your story. Dude, that is so close. What did they just say? I don't know. It kind of hissed and then we heard a bang. Something is liking the hissing. Run. Run where? Where do you want us to go? Hello? <coughs> that was weird sounding. If you want us to run, give us a sign. Yeah, can you give us a sign? If you want us to go, give us a sign. Turn. Well, we're on the turn right now. I mean, think about it. Cold sea. Cold water? Are you telling us you're cold? Liz. Liz is cold? Liz is. Holy shit, that was clear. Okay, keep telling us about Liz. What, what happened to Liz? Don't. We want to get her true story. What happened to Liz here? Is that a murder hornet? No, it's a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese beetle. It's not saying anything right now. No, it's been doing that tonight. It's just quiet in there. Car. Where? Bridge. Bridge. Holy shit! Is Liz up by our cars? Oh my god. Shine your light back. What the f was that? I saw something over top of them. Something big and like almost. It wasn't black. It was like a navy blue, and it just disappeared. I've never heard of that, but that was just weird. Let's go figure this out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do the car on the bridge. The ritual. Maybe that's what that's trying to tell us. Car bridge. Like maybe yeah. that's what it's trying to say. Like. Maybe like yeah. Liz, we're we're. Okay, glad I'm not the only one that heard that one. Um. Liz, we're going to come up to the bridge right now. If you can hear us or see us, again, we, we want you to effectively communicate with us in some way. We're going to do the ritual on your bridge, okay? That was just weird. Oh, point your light right there is that someone in white standing on the other side of that bridge look on the left hand side of that bridge I can't quite make it out Charlie it's gone it is literally gone it was right beside the sign literally gone oh my god oh my gosh this is crazy it's literally telling us what to do, and it's already right. appearing. Like, I, I feel like something's walking behind us, too. Yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> I say this I say, you all get in the back of my truck, okay? Yeah. I'm going to back up onto the bridge, and then what we'll do is we'll, we'll flash the lights and beep the horn, and we'll see if anything appears. And if so, this is going to be crazy. I feel so nervous walking up towards this thing. I wonder what was above the vehicles here. Yeah, but and you saw something above the vehicles, but like literally right past that sign, it, it's like it was like just a white mist. He put his light down, goes back up, and it's gone. All right, so let's let's do this here. Let's um. Oh my gosh, this is way 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 too good. We need a battery here, real quick. Okay. All right, we're all gonna pause real quick and uh. Get regrouped here. Okay, so um, 
We've all decided to uh, do. Oh, jeez, my light's really bright. <laughs> jeez. Um, we've all decided to uh, go ahead. We're gonna. Eat, um, the three of them are gonna get in, in the back bed of the truck and film over top of the cab. I'm gonna be obviously driving the truck, but one thing uh, that you're supposed to see. What are you supposed to see again? You're supposed to see Liz, Liz holding. Coming out. Yeah. Holding her head, possibly some say. Obviously, she was just. You could, Ugh, I can't even talk. I'm getting nervous about being. That is so close. Being in the back of the truck doing this. Because the last time we were here, we actually did get a sign. We didn't see her, but we've been seeing shadows tonight. Well, I say we try this out here then, boys and girls. Um, alright. Let me see. Oh, uh, yes, no. Hang on. Y'all don't mind my mess in my truck. This is what happens when you are. A, YouTube and uh, you're living a crazy busy life and you're always on the road but uh, gotta change my oil soon everybody they're doing getting in <laughs> it's so cool I got a camera as my backup oh god oh <laughs> oh that scared the hell out of me oh my gosh Alrighty. Hey, y'all just let me know when y'all want me to back up. Alright, everybody, I'm gonna hold my camera basically like this right here. Is my light on? Oh, okay, here we go. I'm actually gonna use my headlights. I, th I think I got this. I don't know. You need us to water something to get back here? Are y'all good? Yeah. Yep. Alright. I'm gonna put her in reverse. Flip it dang down, flip it and reverse it. <laughs> it's your flipping, ripping plan yet. I don't even know the words of that song. You're trying. If you got a big, uh, let me search it. Find out how hard I gotta work it. I think that's Missy Elliott. Yeah. You know how hard it is to back up on a bridge? I, it, to hold a camera and- Yeah, and trying to get good content. Yeah, it's, All right. I don't like that we're using my truck because I feel like she's gonna attach herself to it. It'll be all right. Yeah, Just the middle? Yeah, I think close enough. Hey, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to flash my lights? Flash your lights three times and then honk your horn twice. Yeah, I think Okay, hang on. Is my truck supposed to be off? Yeah. Yeah, you shut the truck off. Oh, shit. Hey, there's a spider. A what? A spider. Where? On top. On top. Get that son of a bitch, kill it. Yeah, that thing was coming towards me too, Eric. Yeah. Come on, man. Dead. All right, cool. All right, ready? All right, ready? Yeah, ready. Flash them three times, honk twice, right? Yep. What the hell? What was that? What are you talking about? Wait, what? Something. There was a shadow in front of it. It was a big shadow. Holy crap. All right. All right, let's get... Let's... Yeah, we gotta get out and see what that was. Yeah, that was weird. I honestly don't even know what I just saw. Oh God. Kinda. All right, we just got out of the truck. Everybody just jumped out, and uh, we saw a light up in the distance up here, and suddenly Holly heard something right behind us. Yeah, it sounded like something coming up behind us. Yeah. And then I heard a beetle, but it sounded yeah, like that, that was that was like something like w walking up towards us. So again, um, what's wrong? Whoa! What, what the f was that? Is that a girl screaming? Hello.
What if somebody needs help? Wherever is he coming from now? Somebody just said, don't talk. Hello? Who's out here? Do you need help? The reed was pushed down. The reed pushed down down here now. That wasn't down on No. The wind's not blowing. What the hell's going on now? Weird. <clears throat> Crazy stuff. Yeah, that was definitely not down earlier. No. Does that sound like a phantom car behind us, or is that just me? No, it sounds like cars are coming, but I don't see anything. No hitting. Gosh, damn, that's close. Yeah, that's getting too close for comfort. <laughs> what, like, what are you doing what this late? Too, that we saw? I don't know. Like, okay, so I, that's what I wanted to tell everybody. I, I basically, I, I was too focused on flashing the lights and then and, and then honking the horn correctly. I know it sounds stupid, but there's a lot going on. Um, it was a literal shadow figure that when I played this back, it. it I was scary. Oh my God. If you were outside oh. the vehicle, that freaked me out. Okay, that was your light that time. Dude, I'm down. There's only the one. Yep. It's a little bizarre. Liz, did, did you did you push that down? Why the only one? Well, remember we did ask for a sign. That's true. Well, I think we got a sign. Well, no, no, no. There's more down. Okay, why does it every time we look back, it looks like there's more? I don't, I don't honestly remember. Now, why, why is the scream going away? Like, it almost sounds like don't talk. Like somebody yelled, don't talk. Do you hear the bang again? Yeah. It really, literally sounds like somebody dropping something heavy. Like a... It almost like it's like something dropping like metal on concrete, like something like thick metal on concrete. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I just wanna say thank you all, first of all, for watching. Second of all, if you haven't already, hit that like button. That really helps me out and tells me, all right, do I like this video? Yes, no, maybe so, whatever it might be. Really, really helps me gauge what type of videos you all like. I try to go through the comment section, heart a lot of y'all's comments as well. So thank you for that from the bottom of my heart. We're almost at 300,000 subscribers. I really want to tell you, when I started YouTube, it was a lifelong dream to reach 100,000. And, and the face of nation, you all are so strong. I'm so thankful from the bottom of my heart. And again, like you all saw in the promo in the beginning of the video, Motivated Eyewear, this is a company that I absolutely believe in. I put my heart and soul into this. Everything from the mesh material in this hat to the front fabric on this to the, the actual genuine leather patch that we sew on there. Everything is well thought out. So if you want something to look forward to in the mail, again, go to shopmotivated.com. Use my promo code CJFacen at checkout. Um, and to me, this is more of, this is more than just the word motivated. This is just a way of life for me. It's a motivated lifestyle. And I hope that my videos can bring you motivation and bring you happiness and pull you out of some dark times. I have a lot of people that send me letters and stuff and they tell me a lot of crazy stuff that's going on in their lives. And I'm like, man, even on my darkest day is brighter than some. So it's same for all of you watching this video. There's always somebody out there that's got it just as bad as you. So spread love, spread positivity, keep staying motivated. And without any further ado, I love you all so much. And I'll see you all on the next adventure.